All right, I recently saw a TikTok of this dude making a Nardo Wick and Future Beat. And I don't know, I just haven't made a beat like that in so long. And that TikTok, it just, that beat just went crazy. So shout out that dude. But yeah, that's exactly what we're doing in this video today. I'm going to show you guys how I would make a beat for Nardo Wick and Future. Yeah, I'm just going to go in depth in how to make the melody, how to do the drums, everything like that. And honestly, it's a lot easier than you might think it is. I'm going to show you guys a really simple method that I use all the time for these type of beats. And it's just really easy. It makes the melody just come out perfect. It's a little bit of processing and a little bit of music theory. And you're going to come out with a perfect Nardo Wick melody. Yeah, let's actually hop into FL Studio and make this beat. Oh, and of course, you guys know I'm going to do a little freestyle at the end. That's how we do all these videos out here. So if you do want to see a freestyle, I might make a fool of myself, but stick to the end and you'll see me freestyle. All right, so we got the headphones on. And first thing we're going to do in FL Studio is just bring the BPM up to like 160 something. Let's go with 167. If you guys don't have it already, we're going to be using Cyber for the drums and the melody in this video. I'm going to be using my Cyber One Shot Kit and then the Cyber Drum Kit. So if you guys don't have that, go grab that so you can stick along with the video. First thing I'm going to do is just hop in the leads in my One Shot Kit. We have this lead called Warzone. And what we're going to do here is when you pull in one shot you could go into the envelope settings right here and i'm going to set it like this and just bring the release up and what this is basically going to do is kind of make it sound like more of a pad and less plucky the notes are almost going to like merge together i'll show you what i mean we're going to go to the piano roll and i'm not too great with music theory so what i always do is just click this button right here go to view scale highlighting and i'm just going to set it to d sharp minor this is just one of my favorite scales to work in when i'm trying to make like a nardo wick type beat like that so you know usually when you're going to make melodies you might try and put some chords in so you might do something like this just make like a quick little chord like that. But we're not doing that today. We're gonna be doing an arpeggiated melody. I just always hear Nardo Wick beats like this. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And you might think you're gonna do something like this and actually stick to like a chord type theory, but we're actually not doing that. I always notice in these Nardo Wick beats, you usually hear something like this. And this is what I was talking about. It's super simple. Like look how simple that is. We're just gonna duplicate that over twice. Whoops, wrong button. And look what we got. So you're kind of getting like that idea so far, but it's like, it's a little too plucky in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is just bring that attack up and bring this release up even more. There we go. Now I'm kind of getting what I want. So we're going to bring this to mixture track one, and then we're just going to create the rest of the melody. So I'm going to duplicate this over again, and we're going to add a little bit of like some random notes up on top. All right, so I'm just going to duplicate that over one more time by hitting control B. Now we have an eight bar section right here. And this is a super common thing you'll see in music theory. If you bring it down three semi or five semitones and you do this by hitting shift down arrow, one, two, three, four, five. It looks like it's out of scale with this one note being a C, but it actually will sound perfect as you can see once we play it. All right, so I actually went in and brought the release back down just so we could hear it a bit better. And then I added these top notes right here. Super simple, very repetitive pattern. But I'm going to let you guys listen to it, and then we're going to do the processing. And I'm telling you, this is where the sound really comes alive. All right, so like I said, we routed it over to Mixture Track 1. And what we're going to do first is just EQ it. Then next, I'm going to add a Valhalla Vintage Verb. You could add the Fruity Reverb if you want to, but I'm just going to use the Valhalla Vintage because it obviously sounds a little bit better. I'm going to add a Fruity Chorus. We're going to get a Fruity Stereo Shaper. We're going to right click right here and go to the Stereoize preset. And we're also going to pull this stereo separation knob open a bit. There we go. Now I'm starting to get that sound. And what you're going to notice as you start to add all of these effects, it's going to kind of sound like it's a little bit off of the beat. But once we start adding the drums, everything's going to come back together. So another thing I'm adding is just halftime. And what this does is just takes the melody and stretches it out. It makes it half speed. You could add grow speed if you want. There's the same preset in there. But we're just going to adjust this mix knob right here. And then what I'm going to do is add a fruity balance. Just so we can bring the volume up. And then what I'm going to do here is right click and clone this original preset. And then we're going to bring in another one. I'm going to try the synth bell from Cyber as well. 
And we're just going to copy it over and solo this out just so we could hear it. Pull some of this halftime out. There we go. Now that sound's really starting to come alive. Now let's add a bass, really beef up this sound. I'm going to go with this one right here, cut itself, and we're going to go in the envelope settings, go like this. And we're just going to make a bass line. It'll be super simple. Something just like this, but I'm going to cut it up right at the end. All right, so I'm going to route this out as well, and we're going to add an EQ and just take out all of the high end and the bass. Now what I'm going to do is, in a lot of Nardo Wick beats, I always see like some random sound effects, just like some random stuff that's just like sprinkled up on top. And in my one shot kit, I have this synth called Trance, and it's kind of, it's kind of sounds like just one of those random ass sound effects. We're going to try and add this in. And then we're just going to have it hit on each beat. I'm also going to route this out to Mix Track 2. And we're going to put a delay on it. So I'm going to solo this out. And we're just going to grab the fruity delay. We're going to right click, uh, where is it? The timing. And we're just going to go, I believe, four steps. Actually, we're going to do eight steps. And then what I'm also going to do is put it to stretch just so it's actually on time with the BPM. And what I'm really hearing now is like some kind of violin on this. I'm going to go into contact and see what we can find. All right, so I found this violin and it sounds like this. And right now this violin is just a bit too standoutish, so we're going to turn it down, we're going to add a fruity EQ, we're also going to solo the sound, pull out a lot of that low end, and let's add like a fruity chorus, uh, let's add a fruity reverb, make this sound out really drenched out. And you know what, we're going to go with the fruity stereo shaper again, stereo as preset as always. There we go. Now it's a lot more like drenched out and it's going to sit back in the background. All right, so I'm going to mute the bass and we're moving on to the drums. So we're going to head into my cyber drum kit and start with a clap. Looking for something bright here. So we're going to go with this one. Just make your default clap pattern right here. Then of course we got to duplicate this over four eight bars. Then after the clap, we're going to grab a hi-hat, and I'm going to get this one called Twizzy. And we're just going to turn it up a bit and click fill each two steps. And then I'm going to mute the violin for now, just because we were going to want to add that back later, just for like more emphasis on like... <clears throat> we're going to go to the one-third step and just add a bunch of rolls. All right, so I like that a lot, actually, and we're just going to duplicate that over. And then we're going to go get a snare, maybe two. Yeah, I like this one. Turn that up a bit. Something like this, maybe even this one. Do something like this as a snare roll. Oh, yeah, I like that. Maybe bring that down like this. We're just going to duplicate this over as well. But for the second half of this, we're going to add like an extra roll. It's going to sound like this. And also have it crescendo down. Yeah, I like that a lot. And I think it is time to move on to the 808. So I'm going to grab this one called Whack. Pretty much just your default spins. Drag that in. And basically all you have to do with your 808, if you want to keep it in key, is just follow the root note of what we just made. So it's super simple. It should be like two notes. We're going to right click cut itself. Of course, you got to do this with your envelope settings so the 808s don't overlap and make that weird sound. Okay, we don't want to do that.
All right, so I like that 808. That's sounding good. But now the melody's just sounding a little bit too thin. So I'm going to try and add like one more thing before we're done with this. So we're going to go back into the one shot kit. So open up Cyber here and let's see if we can find like some kind of synth or something. Try something like this. So I'm going to solo out the melody for now. We're going to go cut itself. I'm going to do this just so we can make some chords. Let's hear that with the melody. And let's add the drums back in and we should be good. And then we forgot we still have that violin. So let's hear it with the violin. All right, so I'm going to arrange this, and then we're going to come back and see if I could freestyle like Nardo Wick. I want to smoke with me. All right, so it's time for the freestyle, so I pulled up the vocal preset, and... I want to smoke with me. Hey, I want to smoke with me. I want to smoke with me. Come get it, I just give it free. I don't give a fuck these bitches, they ain't all with me. I want to smoke with me, I'm giving out this shit for free. I just put up on your bitch, put it on ovaries. I don't give a fuck about these bitches all with me. Who wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? I'm coming around and shooting, I just give it off for free. I'm getting bitches on these shit that they just wanna put it over me. I don't give a fuck, these bitches wanna hit my own with me. They ain't over me, I'm moving all this shit for free. You wanna smoke with me? Come get it, give me shit for free. I keep these gloggies on these dirties on my overseas. I got overseas, this drip is moving fun of me. Making fun of me, but I can't speak on all these jeans. I might think about it, shit, I got these reasons. I got all these different pieces, it's not Jesus, please You wanna smoke with me, come get this shit, I need it, please I'm on energy, I'm on ACC I'm on me with none of this shit, they wanna smoke for free I can give you what you need, one of these demons be I can't call up on my phone, man, make me give me breathe I can't even breathe, I can't even breathe You wanna smoke with me, come get it, baby, this bitch for free I got bitches on my dick, they suck it over me All these bitches on my dick, yeah, they ain't over me You wanna smoke with me? Who wanna smoke with me? I'm moving all this shit, my demons, they won't let me breathe I can't even talk about it, I got everything I need Everything I ever wanted on my demon piece I got Jesus, bitch You wanna smoke with me? I got this fucking Jesus piece I hit you with this dirty piece 